One of the most dominant receivers in Troy football history, Danny Grant, still ranks among the all-time single season and career leaders in school history over 40 years following his playing career. An NAIA All-America selection, Grant finished his three-year career with 44 career touchdown receptions, which is 17 more than anyone else in school history. Grant's All-America season came during Troy State's 1968 National Championship run. He caught 72 passes for 1,002 yards and 14 touchdowns to become the first player in school history to top the 1,000-yard receiving mark. Grant's 14 touchdown receptions in 1966 and 1968 still stand as Troy's single-season records, and his 10 touchdown grabs in 1967 ranks as the fifth most. A Troy player has caught double-digit touchdowns just six times over the rich history of the program, and Grant has three of those six. Grant, who was a three-time all-conference selection, set the NAIA single-game record with five touchdown receptions in 1968 against McNeese State and still owns the Troy single-game record for receptions, receiving yards, and touchdown receptions. Grant's career numbers have also stood the test of time as he ranks second in receptions, receiving yards, and receptions per game. To be part of, of my experiences at Troy and what went on and, and seeing that all come about is really pretty amazing. When Coach Atkins started, uh, I had no earthly idea who Coach Atkins was and most of the people I think that came here didn't either. But uh, we, we started practice and uh, it was really pretty exciting and you know I tell you, next thing you know we won a national championship. Now all that was due to Coach Atkins and what he put together. There were certainly some times in August that, that I would have liked to have just walked off and said, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. But between all the sweat and the tears and the hard work, that brings people together. One of the most memorable games was uh, when we first came here, Coach Atkins got us a, a practice game with uh, Pensacola Navy Base, and uh, I think it was the Gosh Hawks. And uh, we thought, a practice game with the Gosh Hawks, what, what, what are we doing here? And come to find out, the quarterback was Roger Staubach. And uh, we thought, oh, that's a little bit challenging. So we went down there, and uh, actually we beat them. But uh, in, in, in the course of the game, I dropped, I know, two, probably three, I think three touchdown passes. And uh, Coach Atkins called me in the next week. He said, uh, you know, we got to work on your, your hands. He said, you, you can't play and drop three passes. And, and that really got my attention from the standpoint of, number one, he cared about me, and, and he wanted to see me do better. And, and then he was going to teach me how to do better. And I can remember practices where I learned things from Coach Atkins about drills and, and, and catching passes and running routes that, uh, that we, when we got in the game, it was like taking candy from a baby. It was never about anything other than, than being in college, having fun, and, and having the opportunity to play football. And, and to see what's, what's happened to me uh, over those years, uh, is when I look back on it, it's just a tremendous uh, respect and, and feeling that I have for what happened during those years and, and the ability to come into a, a place, a team, and with Coach Atkins' leadership and, and, and be a part of a team that, that not only won a national championship, but we lived together day in and day out, and it, it was just a fun time. There's just so many people to thank, I tell you. It's, uh, it, it, I've had a blessed life, and uh, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be even thought about with these people going into the Hall of Fame, and, and, and honestly, it represents the championship team because, again, without that camaraderie and those people and, and those friendships, I'm, I'm sure I would not be here today.